his car is a fortress of steel. In his lamellar chest plate, shield, and helmet, the double-plated lamellar is so effective it inspired modern-day body armor. The Kenneth Stuff and the Spalcata. Close cells up. Pressure mats in place. High speeds ready. On three, two, one, go! the shield was concerned about 212 pounds so again below that critical critical 250 pounds that we we're looking for yeah, and when you talk anatomy the way this shield is held it's with their form so even less likely that you're not going to get any wrist injury no elbow injury and even if you do get a fracture the mongols actually had dedicated bone setters which would actually help them continue to fight I am so impressed with this lamellar armor. I'm seeing a little hole in one of these plates, but it's in an area that's actually doubled up, so it did not make it through. Moving on to the helmet, we did not pass that critical 81 PSI that you need to meet the threshold of a linear skull fracture. I'll tell you one thing that I saw, which was different from your unarmored test. It looked like you were a little bit more labored with each failure. A very crucial X factor for me is fatigue. And if you keep trying to do something and you're unsuccessful, therein lies the stamina aspect. Therein lies the diet aspect, all of which we could give Robert to put in the sink. Personally, when I watch this, if you're out there and you're thinking about what's happening to you, you're in trouble already. Yeah. But if I'm out there completely committed to taking you apart because my confidence in my armor is so great, I don't have to think about what's going to happen to me. All I have to think about is what I'm going to do to you. When you look